Coming to you live from the Walnuts compound in the great state of Wisconsin. Today we will be doing an in-depth look at the Indicator Powerhouse box set, The Wonderful Worlds of Ray Harryhausen, Volume 1, 1955 through 1960. And this box set consists of three films. It came from Beneath the Sea, 20 Million Miles to Earth, and The Three Worlds of Gulliver. It also comes with an 80-page book, a comprehensive book about the three films that includes a lot of write-ups about the films, some Q&As, and some stills from the films. Here in the back, you can see some of the cover art there. From It Came From Beneath the Sea, 20 Million Miles to Earth, and The Three Worlds of Gulliver. This is a set that was limited to 6,000 pieces. I have number 5557. Plastic is off already, and it also has a little cardboard band that goes around the box set. So we'll take that off. We will look a little bit closer at this cover art, which looks really cool. It has kind of a 1950s sci-fi vibe to it. And we'll take a look at the spine, kind of a wraparound image. And it's a really nice set. It has a really nice sturdy box. And it's uh, the same type of quality that you would find from like an Aero video even. That's how good it is. And you can see down here that it came from beneath the sea. It was from 1955, black and white. 20 million miles to earth, 1957, black and white. And then the Three Worlds of Gulliver, 1960, and that one is color. This is a Blu-ray DVD box set, and it is all region. And just scanning at the back, this box here on the back is all the special features, and that is mind-blowing. That is a lot of special features. Um, I actually, I'm not even going to go through all of them because it would take too much time, but I'm just going to kind of pick out some of the things that jump out at me that are special to this box set. Well, first you get the 4K restoration of the Three Worlds of Gulliver from 1960. Um, you get 20 million miles to Earth, which is restored in high definition. So that would be the 2K scan of the film. You get exclusive interviews with filmmaker Joe Dante, special effects maestro Dennis Murin, and Ardman's animations, among others. You get uh, commentary on It Came From Beneath the Sea from Ray Harryhausen himself. And you also get commentary from Harryhausen on 20 million miles to Earth. There are some documentaries. You get Remembering It Came From Beneath the Sea from 2008 was a 22 minute piece. You get Remembering 20 million miles to Earth from 2007, which was a 27 minute documentary. A modern day look at stop motion from 2008, which is 12 minutes. Here's something interesting. You get Tim Burton sits down with Ray Harryhausen from 2007. That's 27 minutes. That ought to be great. It came from beneath the sea again and 20 million miles more comic book galleries. You get a bunch of interviews. I mean, and this thing is just jam packed with special features. So if you want to pause and read for yourself everything that's in this box set, Please feel free to do so. Now we will take a look at the films and the book. And you can see that they each have a spine number, 41, 42, and 43. And I think we will go through the book first. I'm just going to kind of flip through, show you guys what you can expect with this box set. some quotes there. There's a Ray Bradbury quote. Harry Hausen stands alone as a technician, as an artist, and as a dreamer. There's your table of contents. About the three films. You got cast and crew. And then this is when the write-ups start about the movies. There are some stills. There's 
some of the original poster art there from It Came From Beneath the Sea. And you got some Q&As here. People who were associated with the film or just film historians in general. Oops. Here you got some of the filming crew. Actually, let me see if I can just flip through. Three Worlds of Gulliver. I thought that was a really good film. Twilight Time in the U.S. also put that one out in a nice release. There's one of these stop motion creatures from 20 miles beneath the earth, I believe. Or 20, mi 20 million miles to earth. So that was the 80 page book, very nice, very arrow style. The first movie we'll pop into here is The Three Worlds of Gulliver. There again is the spine and on the back. This one is the lone 4K restoration and it is the lone color film in the set. There you can see it has a DVD and a Blu-ray, and they each have unique artwork, which I always appreciate. And there is a reversible cover, and I actually like this cover better than this cover. So I will flip that off camera. And I'm going to put the DVD in the back because I don't plan on watching the DVD anytime soon, but I will watch the Blu-ray of it. So put that one in the front. Actually, let me flip that. What the heck? Why not? This is going to be a short video anyway, so. Let's see if I can do this one handed without wasting too much time here. Yeah, I'll do it off camera. Uh, the second movie here is 20 Million Miles to Earth. Very cool retro style covers there. That could be the original cover for all I know, I'm not sure. But uh, if you want to read the special features in this film, there it is there, you can pause it. These do have subtitles, which I'm a big fan of. So there is the DVD cover. And there is the Blu-ray. There is the reversible cover, and again, I think I like the reversible cover a little bit better than that cover. So I will flip that one too. And again, I'm going to put the DVD in the back. So we have the Blu-ray accessible. And the third and final movie is It Came From Beneath the Sea, and I really like that cover. I'm looking forward to seeing what the reversible cover looks like. If you are interested in these special features, there they are. And again, they have the DVD on the front, or on the top. And unique art for the Blu-ray. And I do like the interior artwork better than the exterior artwork, I think. That one's pretty close. I still think I like the in interior artwork a little bit better. Put the DVD in the back. And the Blu-ray in the front, and basically that was it in a nutshell, guys. That was the Ray Harryhausen, Wonderful Worlds of Ray Harryhausen, Volume 1, 1955 to 1960. So I would give it a strong recommendation. Uh, I would say go ahead and grab it if you can get it for a good price. And uh, add that to your collection. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and stay tuned for the Ray Harryhausen, Volume 2.